Hey guys, just here today to show you a few things I've been doing. Um, this first one is a Christmas tree, very sparkly Christmas tree. And I used another one of those foam bases that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And these are just little foam balls um, that I got at Michael's. And the silver ones, I left silver, but these pink ones were white, so I just painted them all pink and then used some stickles on it and just glued them all over the base, all around. And then in the gaps, I put um, some pink tool, light pink tool, and then um, just this pearl um, trim around, like garland, and another one of my wooden stars as the topper. So, and it just sits like that. So that is the tree that I made. Okay, let's put that to the side. Okay, then um, I made these angels, and um, this is just some fabric, some Tom, Tanya Whalen fabric, and it's just a circle, and then you just fold the little, you know, dress part of the angel. And then the wings is just a heart that I hand cut from some felt. And then the head is just a circle of felt. And then I just made some eyes and some <clears throat> used some makeup for cheeks. And then just some pink, um, sort of flat backish pearly trim for her halo. And then so I made it into an ornament. So that is my angel. And then I made this Tilda. I don't know what book this is from. I don't remember. Um, but this is a Tilda. I'm calling her a snow lady. Um, and I just made her actually out of a pillowcase. <laughs> and um, this is the Country Escape from the Country Escape. Um, it's a fat quarter. And I just cut a little strip from there and glued some buttons on here. And then I had to make her um, earmuffs a little pom-poms because I don't have pom-poms and I don't have pink pom-poms. So I made her little pom-poms for her uh, earmuffs and just used a piece of ribbon that I just colored black with um, my black pearl marker. And then put some little eyes on and then her nose is actually a piece of paper that I um, made into a cone shape for her nose. So that is my Tilda Snow Lady. And then I made, <coughs> sorry, I made these um, waterless snow globes. Um, I made a little Tilda house. When I say Tilda house, it's because I use Tilda paper. And then I made, um, some people have been making these. Um, it's been Marilyn G and, oh gosh. Oh, Marilyn G. and her name has just left me. I will put it in the description box, you guys. I promise. Um, oh, God. And before I started the video, I was like, had them in my head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I will put it in the description box. Um, you know, the little trees. You know, the miniatures. Well, I didn't really want a green tree. And then I thought, well, if Tim, if I could find Tim Holtz, because I think he makes the white ones, and I could paint it, but I couldn't find those either, and they weren't, well, no, I found the bigger ones, but I'm like, they're not small enough. So I made um, my pink tree out of felt. Let me grab it. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, right there. I just used a pin. Um... And I just cut little pieces of felt and just um, made my tree because I wanted pink trees. So those are the trees that are in all of the snow globes. And some of the houses have, Tracy um, had given me some flocking powder last year. And I just used that on some of the houses. So some of the houses have the flocking powder on them. And then some of them have, um, what is it called, snow techs. Some of them have the snow text on them, 
just depends. So those are a few of the things I've been working on lately. Um, I think, I think that's it. Yeah. Other than some just other random stuff, but nothing major. So, um, yeah, those are my projects. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.